Gilbert Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top of the line quality products combined with economical friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me. I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me. Yeah, turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me. Any up. I don't need the one on one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all right, no bark. I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me, huh? So what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up? Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves!
Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting Nobody rob me of my victory Number one, that's what I'm meant to be When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me I can make nice or make history I got that dog in me, yeah Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me, yeah I don't need the one no one I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all right, no part I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh. So what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? The Bank of Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Go Burning Wolves! You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Welcome to Swark Dot Today, Jim Honey along with Brandon Honey. We are here for the home opener for the Prescott Curly Wolves 2023 season. Prescott Curly Wolves will be facing the Fordyce Red Bugs. Both these teams are one and one coming in tonight's game. Both of them had four point losses last week. Uh, Prescott lost on the road in McAllister, Oklahoma, 17 to 13. Had a chance to to put the go-ahead touchdown on the board with four seconds left, but was able unable to get it in the end zone. Uh, we feel like there was a play that uh, or a penalty that was not called that should have been. Uh, and then I think uh, for Fordyce, uh, they lost to Magnet Cove by four at home. So this is a big game for both of these teams to kind of get back into a, a rhythm and get back into the winning column. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, coming off of a, a tough loss last week, they played hard. Uh, played 
played smart, uh, played uh, really good offense and defense throughout that entire game uh, against a really good opponent. Came out fairly healthy. Um, had some couple guys get nicked up there at the end. Uh, waiting to see how how they bounce back this week. But it's something that uh, they need to build on and come out tonight and uh, try to dominate. Waiting for the coin toss here. Prescott Curly Wolves. are going to receive, it looks like, to start the game. Fordyce won the toss, deferred to the second half. So Prescott will be on offense to start this game. You're going to see uh, two teams that have, uh, you know, they've been in the, the same conference a couple of different times throughout the years. Uh, if I remember right, the, the first meeting of these two teams was uh, 40 years ago in 1983, and I was a, a sophomore that season. Uh, we went down to Fordyce and lost that game. Did have an opportunity to come back and win in the playoffs, which was a sweet revenge. <laughs> uh, but these two teams, uh, when they've been in the conference together or where they've met in the playoffs or whatever, it's been extremely good competition. Yeah, both these teams have won uh, you know, state championships in the That's past right. 10 years. Uh, and, the, and they're teams that are expecting to be kind of in the running each year uh, to, uh, to make those deep playoff runs. And uh, no different here tonight. Uh, like you said, uh, Fordyce had that big win week one. Um, had a close loss last week to Magnet Cove, and a lot of people are thinking Magnet Cove's a pretty decent team this year to, get, to have an opportunity to make a run themselves. Um, but so it's uh, definitely a, a step up from, uh, you know, kind of where where we've been in, in some uh, local, local team talent that we've been playing. Um, so... Uh, definitely a, a, a true test for what Prescott can do tonight. We want to first of all, as we begin tonight, thank our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber, Bank of Delight, Yates Maintenance, and UAHT. We will be, of course, mentioning them throughout the game tonight, but we want to thank them most importantly, and we, we also want to encourage all of you that uh, as you're going through our community to, to be sure to take notice of the names that we mentioned tonight and uh, – you know, give them your business. Go in and, and make sure that you're showing your appreciation towards them because they do help us a great deal to be able to bring you these games each week. And uh, if we weren't able to do this, y'all would have had to go all the way to McAllister, Oklahoma last <laughs> week. So you, you need to make sure you're telling them thank you. I can tell you getting home about 2 o'clock uh, last Saturday morning was a rough one. Jalen Johnson, P.J. Gully. It looks like uh, that's Dakari Prater. Nope, excuse me, that is uh, Box on the right side, excuse me. We'll be waiting for the kickoff. And one thing tonight, Brandon, that's, that's probably the best of all, it's nice and it's a little bit cooler tonight. It's not near as hot as it's been the first two games. Yeah, those first two games was pretty warm. You know, we had to start that first game later uh, than normal, try to get some, some cooler weather. So hopefully the, the cramping and uh, kind of the uh, – Lack of hydration doesn't really play a, play a good role tonight, and, and these guys can stay pretty fresh. <coughs> Ford, I set to kick it away. It's going to be a high, short kick. It's going to be taken by Gleason at the 36-yard line. Prescott will have it first and 10 with good field position. Yeah, great decision by Gleason there. Just catch that one and go to a knee. We know kind of what we expect to see from the Ford Ice offense. We expect to see them. They'll probably run the ball 70% of the time, a lot like what McAllister did last week, throw the ball maybe 30% of the time. Uh, and Prescott's going to – they're going to mix it up. They're going to do a lot of different things. Really never got the running game going quite last week, so we may see a little bit of that just to, uh, to test and see how that running game can kind of get kicked in gear. But right now, four receivers to the right. <laughs> and the ball given to Genoa. Oh, a great tackle there by number 51 coming from his linebacker position. Luna on the tackle. Yeah, Luna's a good-sized kid for the Red Bugs. You know, just like you were saying, uh, not really sure what uh, what to really expect from Ford Ice uh, defensively, but uh, their scouting report said they come out in a 5-2. They're going to come out in a 3-4 tonight. Yates looking to throw. He's looking for Gully. It's going to be overthrown. 
Harris lost two yards on the first carry. Going to bring up a third down and about 11. If you look to see exactly, you know, you, you kind of come into these conditions. It's rained a lot today, so the ball's a little bit wet. Uh, go, it's going to take just a few minutes to kind of get everything in groove when you're playing with a little bit of a, a slick ball. Yates back to pass. He's looking for White. He's got him open, just overthrows him. A good play call there, just overthrown the wide receiver. Uh, had uh, White running down a uh, skinny post there, just couldn't uh, connect. Good job up front by the Curly Wolf offensive line, uh, giving Pierce Yates a little bit more time there. That first pass, he was uh, under some pressure pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Wardice has some good size kids on this team. Jaden Johnson's bobbled the snap, not able to do much with it. He's going to be stopped for a huge loss. He probably had enough time to get that one off, but uh, he, he thought that was the best decision to make, and uh, now the defense has got to come out here and make some stops like they did last week against McAllister. The yeah, defense with their back against the wall here pretty early. Kind of puts Fordyce in an in a ideal situation for, for their type of offense. They're going to come out. They're going to try to run the ball. Uh, between the tackles, uh, like I said, they kind of run 70% uh, of the time. They're going to run that uh, kind of the, the zone read spread option out of the gun. Uh, not going to throw the ball around a, a whole lot. But the coaches do think they got some pretty good wide receivers that can make some plays if needed. Loss of about eight yards on that punt attempt. Cunningham will be your quarterback. Oh, and it's going to be a false start, it looks like, on the Red Bugs. That should back them up five. That really helps Prescott there to get the maybe a little bit more yardage as far as having to, to push them a little further to get this one in the end zone. It'll be first and 15 now. Anytime you can get a, a run first offense to play behind the chains, uh, it, it sets your defense up pretty well. Sledge in the backfield with Cunningham. Ball handed to Sledge right up the middle. Uh, tackle made uh, that time was up by Muhammad. Gain of about four. Muhammad well, we had a good week last week against McAllister. <coughs> Starting off good tonight. Make it three yards. It's going to bring up a second down and 12. Cutting him a big, big quarterback. Uh, around 6'1", maybe 6'2", and around 210 pounds. So he's a good size quarterback. Gives an advantage in that run game. And there's going to be another false start again by one of the receivers. Looks like that was uh, number nine, Musgrove. And so, so far for Fordyce, they're just a little bit uh, eager on the, on the edges trying to get off that line of scrimmage. Yeah, just a couple of mental mistakes. Not being able to take, care, uh, take advantage of that uh, good field position they got to start this drive so far. Second down, 17. Twin receivers to each side. Cunningham's going to keep it. Good job there by Patrick, and there was another one that got a hand on him. But you're going to have to, you have to really have to get those legs, guys. I tell you that that's one of the things that. McAllister did well with was just keeping those legs driving. Um, you know, I had to do a little bit better tackling at the lower level. Yeah, it looks a lot like a rugby scrum. Mm -hmm. Just kind of pushing the ball carrier forward, able to get some positive yards. Yeah, have about four yards on the play, so that makes it a third down and 13. You would think passing situation here. Cunningham does drop back to pass. He throws a little quick pass, and it's incomplete. Uh, threw it at the feet of Musgrove. Or, or that may have been number six there for uh, Cranford there for the Red Bugs. Yeah, the right side of the Curly Wolf defensive line did a great job of putting pressure in Cunningham's face, not giving him any time to 
to set his feet to try to throw that. Uh, and him threw it on the run. Just wasn't able enough to get it. Wasn't able to get enough on that one to get out to his receiver. Fourth down and 13. Looks like <laughs> Fordyce will line up to go for it. Cunningham does drop back to pass. He's going to get pressure. He fumbles. Prescott will get on it, so Curtis will recover it at the 30, so they got it right back where they would have gotten it if it had been an incomplete pass. Yeah, Burton wasn't able to get on that one at first. Curtis Wolf defense was able to make a, make a good stand there and get the ball back. Prescott will start at the 29. So both teams a little shaky on their first two or their first offensive possession. Prescott sends three receivers to the left. Gates gonna give the ball to Harris right up the middle. Gain just of about two, maybe three yards. I'd like to see Prescott get that running game going tonight. They weren't able to do much, you know, last week. Uh, for most of the game offensively in the run game. Uh, but to see them get back uh, to, to running the football tonight would be a good sight to see. Just need to be balanced. That's, mm -hmm. that's the one thing for Prescott's offense to really go clicking. It needs to be balanced. Second down, seven. Yates, again, quick pass out to White. Comes back on the little tunnel screen. Couldn't get away from the defenders. He might have gained a yard or two. They're going to mark it at the 35, so a gain of two yards. Redbug bred that one well. Was able to beat uh, beat the offensive lineman to the spot where they couldn't get out and get in front of White there. Uh, good job defensively by Fordyce. Third down and five. Curry Wolves need to reach the 40-yard line for a first down. 8.28 to go first quarter. Yates looking for Gully. Oh, and good, good job by the defenders to knock that one away. Sledge along with... Uh, Munford there, both. Musgrove, excuse me. Yeah, Sledge Not read that one really well. Yates kind of telegraphed that throw, looking for P.J. here in the flat to the near side, and uh, just a good read by your safety coming up, trying to make a play. Jalen Johnson back deep to punt it away. He's done a good job this year on the punt team. High snap this time. Well, the first snap was low, and this one was high. So the delay of game, Prescott really lucked out that time. Got to get this snap down. Snaps have been good this year on, on the punt team until just the last two. Now, the, the first one was was in Jalen's hands, he just kind of bobbled it. Uh, that one there was just too high. Good snap that time. Oh, and he just didn't get a good punt away. <laughs> they got blocked, partially blocked, couldn't run into him as well. And they do get a penalty flag there. Let's see what the, let's see what the, could it be a 15 yarder or just a five, but either way, you probably want to punt it again if you don't get the 15. Looked like Akeem Allen, number 56 for the Red Bugs in there. Got a hand on it. Oh, they're saying it's a five-yard punt, a five-yard penalty. So they will bring, more than likely bring the punting team back out. But you get a chance to have a better punt. It's going to be a fake this time. Johnson cannot get outside, and he's going to be tackled at the 30. Sledge makes a solid tackle. Yeah, Preston just trying to keep or catch Fordyce off guard there. Tried to steal a first down, but Sledge is playing really good for the Red Bug defense. He's able to come up and make a big key stop there. Well, they're going to have this about 10 or 15-yard section of the field tore up 
mm -hmm. pretty quickly because it has not gotten outside of it yet. Neither team with the first down yet. Red Bug offense back on the field. Sledge on the carry. He'll be inside the 25, uh, gain of about seven. Good first play of that drive for the Red Bugs. Looks like they've calmed down a little bit. Brings up a second and three. Seven twenty-eight to go here in the first quarter. Cunningham now. Sledge in the backfield with him. Gives the ball to Sledge over the right side. Good job by Talon Smith. And there he is wrapping up the legs, and you're going to get him down easy. Yeah, great tackle by Talon. Coming off the edge from his linebacker spot. Set his feet. Didn't let the uh, running back get around him. Wrapped him up, like you said, right him to the ground. Good form tackle. That's just one of those things I like to see. Loss of about four yards will now bring up a third and seven. I expect them to be in four down territory here. Officials checking something on the equipment of the uh, Red Bugs. Take this time for just a moment to thank our title sponsor, Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. And UAHT, Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas, Hope Texarkana, UHT, Provides free career and technicals classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. I believe we're set now. The coaching staff are for us getting their calls into the Cunningham. Rolled out to his right. He looks like it's just a quarterback sweep, and he's going to be stopped. Another great tackle that time, and I believe that was uh, Prater. Yeah, Corey made a great tackle there. Good job by Talon Smith kind of forcing forcing that play out, not letting him cut up field on that run so, so Prater could come down and make a great tackle. Good teamwork there. It's a loss of four yards. So after Sledge had the good run for seven yards, They've lost eight on the last two, so it brings up a fourth down and 11. Curlewood's defense has, has done very well tonight. They've played uh, good defense two weeks in a row, mm -hmm. three weeks even going back to Bismarck. Cunningham was going to roll out, looking for a receiver. He's got him, and the ball is caught, and I do see a flag. Oh, Stroud on the catch. I'm thinking it may be holding on one of the receivers, but I'm not really sure yet. It looked like Jamarian was getting held a little bit. Maybe on the offensive line. Let's see what we got. Yep, holding on four dice. Thought it was going to be off a receiver that came off the line there, so I'm glad it was not. Four dice has had a couple good plays in a row. They just... Had the penalty here and a couple of negative plays is setting them back. It's going to make it a fourth down in about 21. 22 it looks like. This looks like they are going to punt. They've got a chance to really pin Prescott back deep. And so far Prescott's offense has not got clicking yet. So this is an opportunity for them to Possibly get Prescott pinned back deep inside the 10. Luna will be punting for the Red Bucks. Punt is away.
And it will be touched dead about the 13. Prescott on their third offensive possession now and has you know, yet to get past her to the 30, 35 yard line so far tonight. They need to get something going here. The last time they came off the field, coaches had them down, trying to make some adjustments. Get some momentum going here, kind of getting that rhythm to where they can speed it up and, and run that tempo that they like to do. Good time for the offensive line to really take control of the line of scrimmage here on this drive. Looking like there's some equipment. Officials are getting cleaned up on the Curly Wolf side of things. Yeah, it's like we're ready to go now. Yates gives the ball to Harris right up the middle. Good run there by Harris. Good start there for the Curly Wolf offense. Good five yards. Good hole opened up by the offensive line up front. Second down in five. Again, ball given to Harrison. Penetration this time in that backfield, and that causes a loss. Fordyce is able to, to get a lot of pressure in that backfield with just that three-man rush up front. Third down and seven. Now they're going to go back to their traditional 5-2. Gates looking for White. Oh, and he just can't can't get to it over his head. So that's going to bring up a fourth down. Another overthrow would have let him out of bounds. I don't think he could have been able to bring that one down in in the field of play. But uh, missed opportunity by Prescott. You, you get one big play, and then you have your a big negative play right behind it, and then you're you're shooting yourself in the foot and and put yourself in your offense in a bind, having to, to get a, a big chunk play on third down, especially when you're pinned back in, in your own uh, end of the field. Uh, not much you can do. Hmm. Johnny got another one off the side of his foot. Goes out of bounds at about the 33, 34 yard line. And again, we're just staying in this one section of the field. Reminiscent of last week, you know, Prescott in the first half never could get field position. Uh, I think they had one first down and uh, got out to the, I think maybe the 30-yard line was is, is the best they did in the whole first half. Had less than 100 yards in the first half. Yes. And didn't have much more than 100 yards for the whole game. That's true. They did, you know, the second half, yeah. they really kind of opened things up getting field position. Board I starts on the Prescott 32-yard line. The worst starting field position they've had tonight. Cunningham goes under center, eye backfield. Cunningham gives the ball to Sledge. He's hit right there. Good job again by Talon Smith. Gives us a little help there from Benton, I believe. A great job by Talon. Good read to fight off that block and get a hand on him. Been really impressed with Richard Benton in it. Really, after that first week against Bismarck, he's, he's done a much better job coming up, making some good tackles. Played really well last week, saved a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Starting off well here tonight. Second down, 14. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Still no score. Both offenses have really struggled to, to get anything going. Both defensive lines have controlled the line of scrimmage. Cunningham. Gives the ball to Sledge, looking for a little bit of room up the middle, and he gained about four, well, about eight yards on that carry. Yeah, a lot of that is just the momentum he, he got from Muhammad coming and, and hitting him from behind. <laughs> Make it for a gain of seven, so to bring up a third down and seven.
Number four, Simmons is in at fullback. Cunningham, give the ball to Sledge, looking for something on, oh, he cut back, good job by Sledge to cut back to the middle of the field. He'll be a little bit short, I think, of the first down, maybe a yard short. Yeah, good run, like I said, good cut. Get a few extra yards there. Fourth down and one, I, with the size of the quarterback, I think you'd, uh, you know, he's been under center. You know, I'd be looking for a quarterback sneak here. It's going to be very important for Arnold and Patrick that's going to be lined up right there over the center, do what they can to, to get some penetration and knock the center and the quarterback backwards here. Cunningham gets it, but boy, there's no. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they didn't blow the whistle. Now he might have gotten the first down based on how long they let him go. Yeah, they've been a little late with the whistles. They were late on that one uh, in that uh, that first possession by the Red Bugs, but they did let that one go for a while. He may have got it. I think they're going to measure this one because. <coughs> Hey guys, y'all gotta make a decision. That that was fourth down right there. They don't get another fourth down. Looks like they don't come out and measure it now. Yeah. I don't think that would even been close if they'd have blown that one like they should have. Well, we have this little bit of a break. We're waiting for the change to come out. We want to thank Dot Ripple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home, the funeral home, we care. Papard Medical Services, let us take care of everything. And he did get the first down, and it was by inches, and that that's one of those right there. Uh, he needed a yard, and the officials gave it to him. <laughs> So we'll have a first and 10. That's our first first down of the night. Third Wheels need a big stop here to get a turnover. I believe the Red Bucks will stay in the I formation. Cunningham will continue to be under center. That's this was Taker possession has been successful down to 10 seconds on the play clock. Ball given to Sledge. He cuts it back again. A nice cut ball was loose. I believe the Curly Wolves got on it. That ball was torn loose, I believe, by Talon Smith. Benton did come up with it, so the Curly Wolves get the second fumble recovery of the night. A good awareness there by Richard. That ball squirted out and kind of bounced away from everybody. Nobody really knew where it was, and Richard caught it. And was able to get the ball back for his offense. Turnover number two, so Prescott's winning the turnover battle, but they have not won the field position battle. They're going to have to really get something going here on this drive. Ball's going to be marked at the 15-yard line. Prescott might get themselves in a heavy package, it looks like, and try to do some, some physical running here of their own. Yates gives the ball to Harris. Up the middle. Good strong run that time of about seven yards. A good run by Genoa. He got popped there pretty good uh, by, uh, by Luna. Luna's one of the bigger defenders on this Red Buck defense, but uh, Genoa – Took it and was able to keep his head head down and uh, got got a good run. Second down, two. Yates will take it this time. He's hit in the backfield and he fumbles it and it goes out of bounds. So both teams ripping at that ball. Luna that time definitely ripped that and right out. It was a loss of probably about a yard or two there from where the ball went out of bounds. Yeah, a loss of three, so it'll be a third and five. Yeah, Curly Wolves caught a break there. 
Second down has been the nemesis so far for the Curly Wolves. They've done well on first down. Just can't seem to get something positive on that second down. Under 30 seconds to go now here in the first quarter. And that's going to be a penalty. Going to be a loss of five. I noticed one of the things that Coach Glass had on the, the scouting report this week for the offense, and one of the things was eliminate penalties. Uh, and that's one of the things this offense has got to work on is eliminating those those penalties that put you in negative situations. Yates drops back to pass. He's looking for Gully. He's got him open. Gully's got it. Still on his feet. Inside the 35 all the way down to the 30. Probably one of the strongest runners when you get him in the open field that we have. Yeah, that's definitely what Prescott needed right there, big play. You know, it, it took a while for him to get a big play week one, but once they got mm -hmm. that first big play, they kind of took off. Same thing with last week uh, when uh, P.J. had that big uh, wide receiver screen play. Another big play by P.J. Got some momentum, got the, the offense running down the field. Coach is getting the next play dialed up. This is what Prescott wants to do. 49-yard completion. Yates gives the ball to Harris. Harris hits the ball hard and, ooh, big tackle there by his counterpart, Sledge. And Genoa came down hard on his head. He might need to take a, a second to collect himself. That can kind of just stun you a little bit when you land on your head there. Well, we end the first quarter with no score. Uh, I think last week the Buffaloes had put on three points in the first quarter against Prescott. This was just been a complete defensive battle and Prescott's finally opened it up a little bit offensively and had a good, nice game there. We want to thank Birkin Walker. You can count on Birkin Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. State Farm Insurance, we're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. No Way Pupwood, authentic American lager. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. And Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. On that last play, Genoa was able to pick up, it looks like three yards on the carry. Makes it a second down and seven. He was hitting the hole hard and had a full head of steam going. Prescott will empty the backfield. They'll have four receivers to the left. Yates, quick pass out to Gully. He's going to hit the sidelines. Got to get around Sledge. And we'll get knocked out of bounds inside the 10. So we have our first real scoring opportunity for either team now. Yeah, another good quick hitter from Pierce to PJ. Uh, PJ scored on that play last week mm -hmm. on the big touchdown. 19 yard gain down to the nine. Yates gives the ball to box. Oh, and there's just nowhere to go. I don't know, that's a flag, guys, because that was that, that was face mask, and I don't think it was a horse collar, but it did look like he had a hold of the face mask there. That was a pretty big one there. Yeah, and he was almost twirling him around by it, because <laughs> Luna's a big guy. Yeah, this is one of the bigger defenses that we've seen so far this year, even going back to last week. Right. Portis has got some some big kids, and, and so far tonight, th their speed is matched up with ours. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that might be Jack Bryant. Num no, I, th I was thinking Jack, that's the center. It shows Luna in our book, but I'm not seeing him listed on either one of their. Uh, I was thinking Luna might have been their kicker, but uh, I was just trying to see which one it might be marked up with, and it may be. 
Carmella Allen is who may that who that may be because I hadn't seen a 24 tonight. You know, and, possibly and so because Luna. I mean, because Carmella Allen is one of their, you know, D1 prospects. Mm -hmm. Yates keeps it. Will get inside the the 10. Brings up a second down. But I have a feeling that's who that is because he's he's probably one of their, their biggest players, and I think he's around 6'3". Well, he fits the 6'3", yeah. 235 yeah, description. I, th I think that's Carmella Allen. We've been calling him Luna, but I was thinking when I read their scouting report that Luna was their kicker, uh, and I don't think he's kicked anything. <laughs> he swapped jerseys on us. Yeah. <laughs> And probably going to be a delay of game. Time has run out, and those are costly penalties tonight. That makes you a, a second down and goal from the 13-yard line. Send Johnson to the right of the screen. You'll have... Hubbard, Gully, and White on the left. Yates drops back to pass. Oh, well, he's trying to force that one in there. He did. He was looking through his progressions, but he I think he was trying to force that one a little bit. Yeah. Couldn't get quite enough on that. That was a long <coughs> throw uh, from the far hash mark to the back of the end zone. A little bit of a dangerous throw. He's up a third down in 13. Gates has time. He's looking for Gully and overthrows him. Looks like the Curly Wolves will be sending on the field goal unit. I've seen Rabadon make several at this length. So this is a makeable field goal. It is going to be from the hash. Be a 30-yard field goal attempt. Hubbard on the, the hole. Robert Don's kick, it's up. And it is good. So a 30-yard field goal there by Robert Don makes it three to nothing Prescott with 10-18 to go here in the first half. Great job there by the Curly Wolves, kind of uh, getting some things going there on offense and, and driving down, getting some points on the board. I think the end of the end of the quarter kind of slowed down the momentum that the, we had going there, uh, but a great job to uh, to get some points out of it. Time to thank a few more of our sponsors: PSE Spray Services, Pesticide, Herbicide, and Aquatic Applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. And I see that K.J. Page has gone to number 26 tonight. He was number 26 in our program at first, went to number five, and now he's back to 26. These guys don't realize we're old, and we don't need that all that swapping up. Prescott first to get points on the board. Robin on now to set to kick it away. Defense needs just to keep up their intensity. Maybe can uh, get another stop and get some good field position to start another offensive run. Yeah, high kicks will be taken by a Sledge, it looks like, at about the 19-yard line. Good tackle that time, and I believe that was number 22. Corletto, very good tackle. That does a great job flying down there on that kick coverage. Sledge has been... Probably the Red Bugs' hardest runner so far tonight, and, and he met him head on and, and made a great tackle there. <coughs> Fordyce will start for the very first time on their own end of the field, and they'll have it at the 23-yard line. They have managed one first down tonight. Curly Wolves have only had a few, and that was on that last possession there.
penalties have hurt both offenses tonight. Cunningham will be under center in I formation. Ball given to the fullback this time. Good hard run there by, I believe that's number eight on the carry, and that is Harden. Yeah, Harden's uh, another one of those, those strong running backs that uh, Fordyce has in their backfield. Uh, plays that fullback's body, he's a good track star mm -hmm. uh, based on, on what we read from, from last spring. His first carry tonight. Brings up a second down and four. Seen him mostly on defense, I believe, so far tonight. So giving him a, a chance to run the ball a couple times. Ball given to him again. Same play. Talon Smith on the tackle. But ball did come loose. But I believe they get, got back on it. And we'll have a first down, a gain of about – Waiting to see where they spot it. Yeah, it's going to be five yards, so he'll have the first down out to the 34-yard line. They have been run heavy to that right mm -hmm. side. Behind number 66 and 64. <clears throat> Ball given to Harden again over the left side this time. Yeah, just that uh, fullback trap. Getting them a couple yards, moving them down the field. The Bugs have mixed things up offensively. They've had several different sets. They've put different backs in the field trying to see what they can get to work. Looking at a second down and eight. Eight twenty to go here. First half. Prescott leading three to nothing. Cunningham gives to Sledge this time. He squirts through and gets about four. I'm gonna bring up a third manageable. This is kind of what Fordyce is wanting to do. Mm -hmm. uh, just get three, four yards of carry, put it in third manageable. Kind of lull you to sleep, and then when they get that opportunity, when they when they see it's just right, run a little play action. Uh, but I imagine they stick to the run here. Third down and four. Cunningham gives the ball again to Harden. He's going to be just a little bit short, I think, that time. Maybe a yard short. Good job by Talon Smith filling that hole. Taking out his legs. Pirtle also, I believe, assisting on that tackle. Definitely look again for the Quarterback keeper here or Harden over that right side. Harden letting the play clock go down. They're going to call a timeout. 6.39 to go here in the first half. We'll have a timeout as the Red Bugs want to talk about this offensive play here. It's fourth down and one. Thank you to Gilbert Lumber, if it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT, Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas, Hope Texarkana. UHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. Dalrymple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish, the funeral home, we care. The Red Bugs have their play set. Curly Wolf 
coaches are still talking with the defense. Big opportunity here for Prescott. If they can get a stop right here, they'll get the ball in plus territory and have a chance really to, to, to maybe make a, a another run for the end zone before the half ends. Cunningham under center. Ball given to Harden. He'll have the first down. Good strong run there by Harden. He's still on his feet. And they blew the whistle this time. And I think that time they could let the play go. <laughs> they blew that one too early. He's still moving forward. Yeah. Right. First down, Red Bugs. Gaining of a couple of yards. This officiating crew has been a little <laughs> off on some things for me tonight. Special, special real, whistle. Real ticky tacky with the uniform. That's stuff right. Too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's been all about. Ah, they had some wristbands on their on their legs. Let the boys have some drip. That's right. <laughs> a little style, isn't it? Hurting them none. <laughs> First and ten, Red Bugs at the 45 yard line. Ball given to Sledge. He cuts it back. And he will be out to about the 45-yard line of the Curly Wolves, probably a 10-yard gain there, nine yards for Sledge. Fort Ice has been able to get a pretty good push up front, especially on that right side. Uh, that's, that's probably their, their bigger group of linemen uh, is on that side. And, and they've been able to, to open up some holes. And uh, Sledge has done a great job running behind them and getting up fields for some tough yards. And he does a good job with his cutback as well. Oh, yeah. Second down and one. Ball handed to Harden. He's hit this time in the backfield, but couldn't get him wrapped up. He'll gain about five. Yeah, Ford has definitely found some stuff offensively here on this drive with Harden. And uh, kind of reminds me of, you know, uh, when we had uh, Alex George and mm -hmm. Kalen Zachary and, and Hobson there, uh, you, you have thunder and then you have the lightning. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of how it's been here on this drive for Harden and Sledge, just kind of going back and forth. Uh, one's going to hit you real hard, the other one's going to run past you. Right. First down 10 for the Bugs. It's 4.58 to go first half. Cunningham's going to roll out the pass, and there's Jamario Burton to get him for a big sack, and there's going to be a flag, too. And uh, the, the coaching staff over there was talking about a either a horse collar or a face mask, too. Waiting to see the official call here. Picking he had him by the... I thought shoulder. it was a jersey, but it may have been. I'm going to call a face mask there. If they did, it was it had to be a five-yarder because he he didn't have it. For, yeah, it's just a five-yard penalty because he didn't jerk on it. It was an accidental that he hit across it. But nonetheless, we'll give him a five yards, and I think it remains first down. But it's still a, a loss. A lot, of, a lot of discussion going on between the coaches and the officials. While they get it sorted out, I'll take this time to thank Papard Medical Services. Let us take care of everything. We need them here right now to take care of all this <laughs> discussion going on. Burke and Walker, you can count on Burke and Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. 
State Farm Insurance. We're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. Can bring up a first down in about 17, it looks like, maybe 15. Yard markers aren't quite as easy for me to, to see anymore. Be 16, that's where they got it. Unusual, I was not expecting Fordyce to come out to try to throw the ball, as much success as they've been having running the ball. Yeah, they're just trying to, to get a chunk play there, catch Prescott off guard. Cunningham will sweep over to Sledge. He drops it, gets it picked up, and then a big tackle there by K.J. Page. So another big loss there. It's a great job uh, by K.J. there to read that. You know, when it, whenever you see that toss play happening, a lot of times your eyes are, are going to lead you toward the sideline, and that's where your momentum is going to go. But it's a great job of reading that, seeing the ball was on the ground, and was able to get upfield and uh, make a great tackle. So two big losses here for the Red Bugs has brought up a second down and oh let's see here if I can count that high. About 22 if I've got it figured right. And it's like Fordyce will call another timeout. So we've got 336 to go first half. Prescott's leading three to nothing. Uh, we want to thank No Way Pulpwood, authentic Amar American logger. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. PSC Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. Prescott's defense has played well all night. This particular series, they have given up some yardage uh, in, the, in the close, tight run game with the, the big fullback. Uh, but for the majority of it, they have done a very good job tonight in keeping uh, the Red Bugs out of the end zone because they've been down on their part of the field almost all night. Yeah, they've played well. They've uh, played opportunistic defense, forcing some turnovers, um, making some good tackles. Uh, like I said, Fordyce was able to move the ball here. Uh, they made the big sack, even though we got the penalty and then uh, fumbled the toss. And, uh, then uh, set them back even further uh, for second and 23 is what it is. So your defense is, is played well and uh, got a chance for a big stop here. Cutting him now deep, waiting to snap. He's looking to throw, rolling out, throwing to his right. And it's incomplete. Prater, excuse me, that was, yeah, Prater almost had a chance at it. Yeah, just wasn't able to bring that one in. And this is what Prescott wants to do. They want to put four dice in the situation where they got to get out of their, their offense where they want to run it between the tackles and, and run down your throat. You've got to make them throw the ball. Um, I mean, Cunningham shown this. He's got a pretty good arm. He's got some pretty good wide receivers. Uh, but I, I got a faith in our, our back end of our defense mm -hmm. to, to stay in coverage well and, and uh, get their hands on the ball. So if they can continue to put them in, in situations like this, uh, that, that's just going to help them out and, and get the offense back on the field so they can get some rhythm going. Third down and long. Cunningham drops back to pass, getting pressure from inside. Pass is incomplete, and K.J. Page had a chance for an interception there. He was ready to come up for the tackle. Yeah, I think uh, wide receiver heard some footsteps there, and he, he, had, he had plenty to hear from. Mm -hmm. um, it, Quarterback kind of led him into triple coverage there. Uh, good coverage by uh, K.J. Page, Talon Smith's in there. Looked like Richard Benton was in, there, uh, in his hip pocket. Uh, just wasn't able to bring that one down. Got a big big stop on third down. Going to get your offense the ball back and with three and a half minutes left to go before the half. Uh, if Prescott gets, gets some, they get that rhythm going. They've got plenty of time to score. Punt is away. It's a short punt. It's low. And with ball just going to be you. Going to roll dead at about the 15. Uh, that, I, those are hard to field, you know, because the ball can take a really bad bounce on you at times. Uh, and I think that Fordyce has only completed one pass, and that, then they had the penalty. That was the holding penalty that brought it back. So they've really struggled in that passing game. 
Cunningham looks like he's got a strong enough arm. He's just really not hitting the target. Yeah, they've only tried to throw it, I think, three times, or three or four. Uh, once was mm -hmm. the was the sack. I think he only got three off. Uh, but he had had a lot of time. Mm -mm. The the when they draw back the pass, Prescott's normally in his face. Offensive line is much better run blocking than right. they are in pass pro. First and ten, Curly Wolves started their own 15. 319 to go, first half. Quick pass out to Gully. Just trying to get some yardage. Try to get upfield. Don't think there's anything there. Maybe a, even lost a yard. Fort Ross has done a really good job defending that play. They've read it well. Uh, and uh, really fine to the football in that particular play because that, that's what Prescott wants to do. They want to get the ball out to their fast wide receivers on the outside and let them turn on the Jets. But uh, Fort Ice has, has really done a good job of getting out there. Second down and 11. Ball given to K.J. Page. He's patient, gets outside on that sweep. He's got room up to the 30. He's down the sideline. You know, he gets out to the 50-yard line. And I've been impressed with how he runs the football. Uh, He's a sophomore. He's young. He's still got some uh, some learning to do, uh, and you can tell Friday nights is a little bit of a step mm -hmm. step for him right now. No, a great run there. A real patient, waited for his blockers, and was able to get a big uh, big play there to get us on the right side of the 50. 39 yard gain there for KJ Page, and boy, there's nothing there for Box on the right side. Yeah, there was red bugs in in Box's face as soon as he got the pitch there. May have lost a couple yards. Yeah, it's going to look like a loss of three on the play. A late flag in there, too. Four dice players are backing up, but I don't. Wait to see what the call is. too many men on the field. Okay. I know one hand on top he is, but I've never seen both hands. <laughs> Maybe they had a whole lot of men out there. <laughs> That's uh, – I've never seen the two hands. But it was awfully late for them to mm -hmm. have called that. <laughs> Waiting for them to get the – Everything settled up again. Two nineteen to go. Prescott here is, is definitely going to be looking to hurry up and try to get some things going, you know, fast. Get this ball in the end zone before the half is over. To me, things have just been out of sync for them so far this season. They just really hadn't gotten a smooth connection there. They get down. That's a 15-yard penalty. That helps Prescott out there. Puts the ball down at the 33-yard line. Box in the backfield with Yates. It's going to be a reverse to Gully. He's just looking to see if he can get a block. He gets around the end. We'll get down inside the 20. Good job. There's a flag on the play. Possibly a hold there. Let's wait and see. It is going be a hold. Nice call there. Just uh, penalty hurts. Yeah, good play call. Dip it into your bag of tricks. You know, they had to run some trick plays last week to, mm -hmm. to get some things going. So, looking to do the same thing here tonight. <laughs> Once again, for whoever's on offense, if you, the penalties have hurt each team. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen Genoa back in the game since he took that that hard landing on his head and you know a lot of times that can it can stun you pretty good and it may not be that he need, he may have a headache and looks like he may be sitting under the tent right now they probably look at him again at halftime 
First and 20. Yates gives the ball to Box up the middle. Got a little bit of yardage there. Be gained of maybe four on the play will bring up second down 16. White split to the left, three receivers to your right. Yates with Page in the backfield. Quick pass, it's looking for White on the sideline. He goes up, it's gonna be picked off. Looks like that was number nine. Great, great position there by Musgrove to pick that one off at the 10. Yeah, great defensive play there. Played on the inside of the ball. Um, that, that throw needed to be more to the sideline uh, for the, uh, on the front shoulder uh, for the wide receiver there. It was thrown more to, the, to his back shoulder and uh, defender was able to make a great play and uh, get Fordyce the ball back here. A minute 18 to go before the half. Makes it a first and 10 for the Red Bugs on their own 10. Well, Fordyce has turned the ball over twice with fumbles and Prescott interception there. Uh, just really, Really struggles on the offensive end. That's the second interception for Yates, I believe, this year. Ball given to Harden over that right side. He's going to gain about seven. A good hole opened up by the Red Bug. Offensive line for Harden run through. Bring up a second down and two. Eight-yard gain there for Harden. Fordyce was started the season ranked number seven in 3-8, and then after the loss last week, they did drop down to number 14, but still a very, you can tell they're a very quality football team. They're, they're physical, uh, and it's going to be a face-to-face, in-your-mouth ball game with, when you're facing these Red Bugs. Harden again on the carry there. Gain of about five yards. Brings up a first and 10, 20 seconds to go here in the half. They don't have to run another play, but it looks like they may run one more and see if they can get something to happen here. Cunningham drops back to pass. He's looking. He's going deep down the sideline, and there's way overthrown. That'll be three seconds to go in the in the half. Cunningham showed a pretty good arm there. Oh, I, I, I think he's got plenty of strength, and even the passes he's thrown, he's thrown hard. Uh, it's just been that he just has not been on target. Brings up a second down and 10. Boy, I'll have one more chance if they want to take a shot here for the half. It's like they're going to just take a knee, and they will. That will end the first half. Curly Wills will go into the locker room leading three to nothing. Uh, we do want to thank our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber, Bank of Delight, Yates Maintenance, and UAHT. We'll be back here in a few moments with our second half. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. 
paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately, and you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great, and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any up, I take on anyone, I don't need the one no one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all bite, no part. I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me, yeah. So what's up? The Bank of Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Go Curly Wolves! You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. 
It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me. I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me. Yeah, turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me. Any up. I don't need the one no one I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all right, no bark I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh? So what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs. Providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. 
where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately, and you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. Hard there's a little bit of madness to my method Get me falling off that fine line that I'm treading I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting Nobody rob me of my victory Number one, that's what I'm meant to be Went by any means, only thing that makes sense to me I can make nice or make history I got that dog in me, yeah Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going nuts I got that dog in me, yeah I don't need the one no one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all bite, no bark. I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me, huh? So what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up? The Bank of Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Go Burning Wolves! You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing.
Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. Hard There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any up, I think on anyone, I don't need the one on one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all right, no part, I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me, yeah. So what's up? The Bank of Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Go Curly Wolves! You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in diesel technology that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves!
Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You don't want your future to be on hold. You want an education in cybersecurity that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me. I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Welcome back to Swart Not Today. We're here for the second half of the Prescott Party Rules and the Ford Ice Red Bugs. Prescott leading three to nothing. Uh, a defensive battle uh, that whole first half. Field position very uh, critical, critical for Prescott. They never got really good field position except one time, and they were able to at least get uh, a field goal out of that one. Uh, Ford Ice had the chance several times uh, to, to have scoring opportunities, but really – uh, hurt themselves with penalties. As we start the second half, we want to thank Gilbert Lumber, Bank of Delight, Yates Maintenance, and UAHT, our title sponsors for our game tonight. Ramadan set to kick it away. Going to be a kick to the left side and it's going to be bobbled and picked up and, and good coverage there by the Curly Wolf coverage team and again I see Corletta down there to help make that tackle. Yeah, he's had two pretty good tackles here on uh, the kick coverage team making his presence known. Ball is going to be placed at the 32 yard line for the Red Bugs. Fordyce does have several players that are playing both ways, and we've seen that over the last couple of weeks where that does play into uh, some you know, cramping and, and things like that in the second half. It's a nice, cooler uh, night tonight, so we, it may not be as big of a problem, but we'll see as the game goes on. Heavy run package in for the Red Bugs. Cunningham under center gives the ball to Sledge. Hits the ball, hits a hole hard, excuse me. Gain of about six. Another good carry there by Sledge. Another one of those guys that's been playing both ways. Looks like a five yard gain. Second down, five. Cunningham gives the ball to Harden, left side. And he'll drive his legs and be close to a first down. I believe he does have it. Hard run there by Harden. Almost looked like Prescott was going to have him stop for a, a real short game, but did a great job of finishing that run and getting that first down. Six yards for Harden. They kind of start where they left off in that first half on that last drive and had moved the ball very well, and they attempted a pass, and, and things fell apart from there. First and 10 for the Red Bugs. Ball marked at the 43-yard line. Cunningham gives the ball to Sledge. Left side, great tackle there by Muhammad behind the line of scrimmage. Muhammad did a great job getting that penetration and, and bringing Sledge down from behind. There in the backfield going to be loss of about two. Preston, game, better spot than I thought. Prescott's done a good job of of getting some penetration. It's just been behind where the play's going, but a, a great job by Muhammad to, to get a hand on him. Second down and 11.
Cunningham to Sledge again on the left side. They pounded the right side in the first half, and now they're, they're working that left side here. They've got, a, I think, a couple of extra line, linemen on that left side right now. They're running that short side of the field. Gain of three. Third down and eight. Well, it looks like they've they've swapped. They've flipped their offensive line over. Yeah, because they're still running behind the same same guys. Cunningham rolling out, looking to throw. He's got some room to run. Allen, a, a really a good tackle there, but a. a J.K. Jones didn't really come up and, and make strong contact there. Talon Smith able to get him out of bounds. He's going to be right at the first down marker. I believe he's going to have the first down. It marks yep. just short. Yep. Nine. Oh, nope, they're yep. moving now. Yeah, he was right at that yard again. I think he got about a foot over it. But Cunningham's got some long arms. He did a, had a really good uh, stiff arm there to keep some separation between him and uh, Dickerson. That was Dickerson on <laughs> number 11. I missed that. They're really working the clock, too. They're not getting under center until under 10 seconds. Cunningham gives to Harden. Right side, good tackle there by Page. Page has made some pretty good tackles there from his linebacker spot tonight. It's going to be a gain of two. You know, for a sophomore, he does a good job at that middle linebacker mm -hmm. position. He 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 comes with intention when he when he comes up to the hole. He and Talon Smith both. Cunningham gives the ball to Sledge. Room over the left side, and boy, he got tripped there. Gleason did get him tripped up, but it'll be another first down. Yeah, luckily Gleason was able to get his uh, legs out from underneath him. Sledge would have had a long ways to go uh, if Gleason wasn't able to bring him down there. Gain of eight yards. Another first down for the Red Bugs. This was about the area of the field last time when Fordyce got out of their, their routine. I expect them to stick with this run game. 7.35 to go here, third quarter. Ball given to Harden. Arnold was in the backfield, wasn't able to get him down, but a minimal gain there for Harden. Matter of fact, no gain. So a good, good stop there by the Curly Wolf defense. Put him in a second and ten situation. Cunningham gives to Sledge. He's trying to bounce it out. Gain a couple yards. Job by the defensive line there, really clogged that uh, running lane, and the linebackers come up, filled the hole good. Third down and nine. I see Tayshawn Smith make a big play here. Yes. We hadn't called his name much tonight. Had a big week last week. You know, flop the line again, so the you've got Allen on this right side. As an extra offensive lineman. Cunningham with a little sweep to Sledge on the left side. He'll get knocked out of bounds. I don't think he's got the first down, but it's going to give him a fourth and short here. Good stop by the Curly Wolf defense. Forcing Sledge to the edge to push him out of bounds. 
It's going to be a five-yard gain. That's going to make it a fourth and four here. So, Curly Wolf defense here needs to make a stop. Needs to be smart here. Make sure you're, you're paying attention to the ball. Don't jump. Uh, there's been a few times they've come up on a under center and, and really tried to take their time. Fordyce is going to call a timeout here with 5.58 to go here in the third quarter. Prescott's leading three to nothing. We want to thank Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT, Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. UAHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. Dyripple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish, the funeral home, we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Burke and Walker, you can count on Burke and Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. You know, the first, uh, the first game we had a lot of scoring going back and forth and we had an opportunity to really run through our, our sponsors and last week it was pretty consistent, but tonight we hadn't had a whole lot of scoring to take the time to, to thank our sponsors, but we want to do that as much as we can and we appreciate them each year supporting the Curly Wolves and Swark Dot today in order to bring you these games. Big defensive play here coming up for the Curly Wolves in the uh, here in the third quarter. A stop here and give Prescott good field position. First down by the Red Bugs could really give them some momentum going in towards the red zone. Prescott's going to call a timeout here, it looks like. Uh, and I'm kind of like Coach Class, it looked like one of the offensive linemen may have moved a little early there, but no call made. Prescott wanted to see what kind of offensive set they were going to come out in so they could get their defense set and uh, – what to expect here. Even that last play, you know, they, they really do, loaded up the right-hand side and they went with the sweep to the left, which it caught me off guard as well. well this has been kind of the, the down and distance that Fordyce has tried to throw it. Mm -hmm. um, they, they come out there with, with more wide receivers than what they've had all night. So it's it's different look than what Prescott's seen, especially with Cunningham in the, in the gun. Just trying to get everybody lined up right, make sure everybody knows what coverage we're in, who, who, who's who, got who um, in, in this big fourth down. Uh, Prescott really needs to get the ball back. Number four, Simmons, who has been one of the receivers for the most part. They've got him lined up in the backfield. And, and one of the things that, you know, McAllister used a lot last week was that little wheel route. So that's somebody we need to really make sure to keep an eye on is number four here. Oh, that's there's five yards. And like I said, I thought someone moved early a while ago, but that time they for sure did. Yeah, we talked about it uh, there at the end of the first half. Fordyce hadn't hadn't done as good a job up front in, in their pass protection as what they've done in their run blocking. So I think those guys are just trying to to get that head start because mm -hmm. Prescott's got a good defensive line. Whether it's Burton, Muhammad, Rafter, uh, Patrick, pick your poison. Right, uh, they're always playing in the backfield on passing downs, and I'm sure that's what Coach Patrick has dialed up down there. Pin your ears back and go. Fourth down and nine. And this is a time a lot of times you'll see teams use a little screen pass, so you got to be ready for that as well. Cunningham waits for the snap. Three receivers to the right for the Red Bugs. Cunningham gets the snap a little bit quicker, and he anticipated Patrick with the pressure. It's going to be intercepted by Benton, trying to get back up field. He gets around the left side. He gets out to the 20, 25, and to the 30. He breaks free and gets out to the 35. Great tackle that time by number 56 for the Red Bugs, and I believe that is uh, Akeem Allen on the tackle. Yeah, Allen saved a touchdown there. 
Richard did a great job reading the field after he got that pick, turning from a defensive player to an offensive player. Uh, showed good ball carrying skills there. Read the read how his defense was lining up to block. Followed his blockers. Got a great return. Big play by Richard Benton. And gets it out to the 46-yard line. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you tell your defensive backs just knock it down. But that, that turned out very good for Prescott to be able to get the return and get good field position. Makes it first and 10 for Prescott's first offensive possession of the second half. And we're five minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Yates quickly gets the snap, stepping up in the pocket. We'll get stopped, get tackled there. I believe that was Harden that grabbed a hold of him and got him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain, but uh, he stepped up in that pocket and there might have been a loss of a yard. Uh, thought he might have had a chance to get rid of the ball before he was grabbed, but bring up a second down and 11. Low snap that time that kind of broke up the The feel for that play. Good snap that time. Yates steps up in the pocket, gets away from one, but he can't get away from him the second time. That was Allen on the stop. Offensive line is just broken down here in this. And that's going to be Carmelo Allen that's slow, slow to get up that time. And I'm not sure he knows where he's at at the moment. He looked a little dizzy getting up from there. Yeah, they've. Had their way with Prescott's offensive line here on, on these first two plays of this possession. Yeah. Allen, I think he is very, very wobbly at this moment. Yates drops back to pass. Going to roll out. He's going to throw it deep. He's looking for Gully. Gully's, oh, almost had it. Knocked away. He's going to be incomplete. We do have a flag down. Looks like it's going to be a holding. Going to be declined, so Prescott will be in a punt situation. So not able to do anything, losing a yard on that offensive possession. And, you know, we talked about it before. We, we really got to get that run game going. It was three three pass plays and a, and a loss of a yard. Good punt that time by Johnson. Bounces at the 20. Rolls inside the 15 and will be – Dead at about the 12, so good punt there by Johnson. Defense is going to have to bail their out, offense out again. <clears throat> Got to continue to come out, play hard. They've been out there a lot tonight. They've had to hit some pretty big running backs too. Yes, they have. Um, this is a time where you can kind of see the, the depth of, of each team and, and – how deep it is on each side. Mm -hmm. uh, like we talked about, Fordyce has six guys going both ways. Some of these guys are looking a little bit gassed. Um, you got to continue to put the pressure on them and uh, force them to make a mistake and uh, just keep playing your game your, your game because it's worked so far. That's right. You know, it's really one of those situations tonight where it, it looks like if one team can get two scores up, that could be a deciding a, a moment. Prescott's offense has just not been able to click tonight. Ball given to Sledge right up the middle. Quick flag on that side. And I believe that's probably going to be a holding or a movement because I saw that that was the Fordyce coaches upset on that sideline. Motion. Starting on their own 12, and they'll be backed up five more, so they'll be back at their own seven to start this first and 15. This reminds me back of the, the old 80s and 90s Prescott football teams that were so good defensively. That you know, Coach Jackson would be just as thrilled as he could be right now, being being up three to nothing. Mm -hmm. Ball given to Sledge, 
Great tackle there by Muhammad behind the line. Again, good tackle around the legs. Yeah, he's, he's kind of uh, at, at his way with, since they flopped that offensive line over. He's, he's had a little bit better break on, on his side, being able to get through. And with those long arms, he's reaching out and grabbing Sledge's ankles uh, as he's trying to cut up field. Made some good plays in the backfield here in the second half. Second down, 15. Cunningham, a quick pass out to uh, the receiver. A good job there that time by Dickerson just to ride him out of bounds. Pass was complete to number six. Uh, that was Cranford. That's a great tackle by uh, Dickerson there. No gain, so that brings up a third down and 15. Big play again for the Curly Wolf defense right here to make a stop and force a punt. If the defense can help themselves out and get a pick six down here. That would be fantastic. I called the last fumble, so I'll take your, <laughs> your interception here. Cunningham rolling out, looking to throw. Nope. Got it away, but receiver was out of bounds as well, so incomplete pass. And they'll be in a punting situation here. And that last punt was really a low line drive punt. If with this field position here, if Gully or Prater could pick it up, they could they could have a real good return and might could even get one in the end zone. We know Gully can get one there. Allen to punt it away. It's a high punt. They'll probably back out and let this one just bounce. That's one you want to let go. So Prescott will have the ball right at the 45 and a half yard line. Brandon, this, to me, this is one of those uh, gut check series. You know, this is where we're, we came out and threw the ball three straight times or attempted to on that last series. This is where the offensive linemen, they've got to just uh, really dig down deep, fire off the ball, and let Genoa run the football right here. Yeah, this is when you gotta you got to earn it right here. Uh, you haven't played well. They've made some adjustments. It looks like they've, they've got some newer guys in. I see Rocco Patrick in there mm -hmm. at right tackle. Uh, so they've made some changes up front, trying to get some bigger bodies in there, get a better push. Um, but it, you got you to gotta get it going. Getting close on their splits. Gavin York, York in at left tackle. Ball given to... Genoa Harris, good run. You know, that's about three, three, four yards. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, it's a good start. Looks like uh, Tavian Lofton's in there, number 79. Second down and seven. Zayden Carter coming in at left guard. This is the bunch formation here. Harris back with Yates. Ball given to Harris. Cuts it off that left side. Looking for the sideline. Will get tackled and thrown out of bounds. Sledge on the tackle, but he did get inside the 35 and looks like maybe down to the 30. Gain of 12. You know, that, look, that formation looked a lot like what uh, McAllister was doing to us last week when they get in those fourth and shorts, third and shorts uh, with uh, their quarterback and their running back just getting real tight, hitting defense right in the mouth. Page on the carry this time. Looks for a hole up the middle. Strong, hard run by K.J. Page. You know, and, and him being on your defense and having to play that middle linebacker spot, uh, he, he's able to help kind of the, give Genoa a break here. He gained seven yards on that carry. Oh, ball bobble. Yates is going to just pick it up. He'll get close to a first down. Got inside the 20. I believe he'll have it. 
good job of just covering it up and get what you can. Yeah, low snap. Pierce did, did a good job, didn't panic. I was able to get it picked up and get upfield and get close to a first down. Good job by the offensive line. And you can see the enthusiasm. You can see a lot of mo uh, mo momentum has kind of moved over to the Prescott offensive line there. You see the first cramping there for uh, the Ford Ice Red Bugs. Bugs number four looks like he's having, or maybe hardened. It's, I think that's Simmons, though. It is Simmons. It's going to be a third down and short. We gave Yates three yards on the carry, so it's going to be a third and one. One thirty-five to go here, third quarter. Ball given to Harris. Hard hitting, bounces outside to the 10, to the 5, and there's a face mask, and I believe he's in the end zone, and it was looks like there was a, a late hit to add on to it. Great job by Genoa there, finishing that run. Good job up front by the Curly Wolf offensive line with the changes that they've made. Come in, got a good push, and, and pushed the ball down the field into the end zone there. I can tell you right now, Coach Jackson is smiling. Because that right there is something that he would have been extremely thrilled on, is to line up, get your offensive line fired up up there and blow some guys off the ball, you know, and drive it 46 yards down the field for a touchdown and running the ball every time. Uh, I'm one of those that does like to spread it out and throw it too, but uh, when you can line up and run the football, like you said earlier, uh, that's what you have to be able to do in, in, in Class 3A football. I don't think there's anything better than lining up and running the ball down somebody's throat. That's exactly right. 1.24 to go here in the third quarter. Rabadon on to attempt the extra point. Low snap. Kick is up. Great job by Spencer Hubbard that time. That ball was almost rolling up there to him, and he picked it up, got it on the tee. Rabadon kicks it through, and Prescott now leads 10 to nothing. Uh, we do want to thank Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas, with quality car care at affordable prices. State Farm Insurance, we're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. Off, no way, Pupwood. Authentic American lager. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance. Let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. PSC Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. You know, the good thing about that particular uh, setup for Prescott is they get everybody bunched in, and then Genoa or, or KJ or whoever is running the ball can kind of get in there and hide, and then you bounce it out, and, and they, the defenders can't find you. Good offensive possession. Now we need to kick it short. Yes. Try to pin them back deep here. A high pop-up right here would be nice at about the five-yard line. Or 10. It is going to be squibbed. Oh, Allen almost <coughs> grabbed that one. <laughs> would be a touchback. Good attempt to have something happen, but they will take over on their own 20. But this does take Fordyce out of what they want to do. They're down two scores now. They're, it's first down and 80 yards to go, and uh, there's 124 to go here in the third, so we still have a whole fourth quarter to go. Uh, but it, is, it does cost them to have to speed the game up a little bit. Yeah, and, you know, starting the second half, they were already – Eaton clock. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's that's what they want to do. They don't want Prescott to have the ball. You don't, as an opposing team coming in here, you don't want Prescott's offense out on the field. Right. If you can keep them on the sideline, that's what you want. But now that you're down two possessions, you you got to pick up the pace, like you said. You got to get things out of your rhythm. They can't just focus on running the ball with Harden and, and uh, Sledge. They've got to try to put the ball in the air, um, trying to move the ball in chunks, not just three, four yards at a time. They line up in the eye. Cunningham is looking to throw. Rafter is right there. He's got him wrapped up, and uh, he throws it away, but that's going to be intentional grounding. And that was nowhere near the line of scrimmage. Uh, 
not near the line of scrimmage, nobody around. That's uh, a penalty in all levels. Okay, well. Hmm. We need Papard. <laughs> we need them here to take care of everything because <laughs> they need, we need them on the officiating crew. Second down 10. Ball given to Sledge. Good tackle on that right side of the Curly Wolf defense and even saw Raptor who came from the left side to make it. I see Gleason getting up off the bottom of the pile. Yeah, Gleason and Raptor. And Smith. I think Tayshawn Smith was in there on that stop as well. Yeah, tayshawn has been – he's getting bottled up over there. They're, they're pulling that guard and, mm -hmm. and that guard is, is keying on him uh, rightfully slow. So he – Played with his hair on fire last week. Sure did. Um, but uh, credit to to Fordyce for really keying on him and kind of taking him out of the out of the the Curly Wolf defensive plan. Third down and seven. Ball on the ground. Cunningham just has to fall on it. That's going to be a loss of probably two yards. And that's going to make it a fourth down and nine. That will bring out the punting unit for Fordyce. 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Allen will be back to punt it away. Need something to go just just slightly wrong up front for <laughs> Fordyce right here. Javon Barton almost got his hand on that last one. Had just a little extra time. He may be able to get in there on this one. Maybe they're going to let the clock run out. They'll flip the field and punt this away in the fourth quarter. So that ends the third quarter. Prescott leading 10 to nothing. We want to thank Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. Our title sponsor, Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT. UHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. Prescott able to get their hands on the ball twice there in that third quarter. The, the first possession was a three and out after the interception. And then on the following punt, they were able to get the ball back at the 46 and get down the field rather quickly, running the football, lining up, and, and really taking some momentum away from Fordyce. They were able to extend that lead to 10 to nothing and now are waiting another punt from the Fordyce special teams. Prater and Gleason are back, but they are playing more of a defensive positioning just in case there's something uh, up the red bug sleeves. Allen waits the snap. It's going to be a high snap. He does get it. Gets it away. Nice punt that time. It's going to roll dead at the 48, 49 yard line. We'll mark it at the 48 of Prescott. So Prescott again with good field position to start this possession. You know, in the first half, Prescott had horrible field position every, every time they got it. So far this half, they've had it on their own 46, their own four, the, the Fordyce 46, and now their own 48. So that's kind of flipped here in the second half. Yeah. I was able to find out last week, you know, the McAllister uh, played for the state championship twice, back-to-back uh, -back years, and were runner-ups. So Prescott's had a, a good quality schedule so far this year. Yates hands the ball to Harris. Up the middle, good, hard, strong run, covering that ball up good. Love to see that from a runner. It looks like uh, Preston's gone back to their original starting five up front. Yeah, 
and lining up to get physical. Second down and six. Harris trying to get free. Good tackle that time from behind. I believe that was Allen on the stop. Gain of maybe one that time, so it brings up a third and five. Page will come in now, give Harris a break. I think that's good. It gives, keeps mm -hmm. backs fresh. Yates gives the ball to Page. Hard run up the middle. Gained of a maybe three or two. It gets down to the 45. Makes it a fourth down and three now for the Curly Wolves. A big fourth down here for the Curly Wolf offense. Hadn't been able, hadn't had any success really on fourth down tonight. Hopefully they can find some here. The H is going to keep it, and that's not going to work. Uh, tried to keep them guessing there, and it just didn't work for Prescott on that particular series. So that'll turn the ball back over to the Fordyce Redbugs, and they'll get it at the 46-yard line. Defense is playing well, and I think that's why the coaches decided to to go for it there. That's one of those times I, I would like to sing like Genoa did a moment ago, bounce that one mm -hmm. outside, because uh, all the red bugs were inside there. Ten twenty now to go in the ball game. Prescott leading ten to nothing. Cunningham will line up. In the shotgun, waiting for the snap. We've got two receivers to each side. It's going to roll to his right. Oh, ball's loose. That would have been, you know, I, I actually thought he was throwing the ball, but I think they just called it a fumble. I thought his arm was moving forward. But we'll take it. It's be a loss of about six yards, maybe five on the play. They're going to put it at a loss of seven. Makes it six, second down and 17. Ten minutes to go. So Prescott now going into a their pass defense. Uh, as you said a moment ago, really letting the, the offense, or excuse me, the defensive line pin their ears back and go after the quarterback here. Yeah, they've been able to put a lot of pressure on Cunningham. Quick whistle that time. Delay of game, it looks like. Wow, I tell you what, Fordyce has really hurt himself uh, with penalties when they've been on offense. They, uh, there's just been so many times. And Prescott did the same thing in the first half. Yeah, and they've been bad penalties in, in clutch situations when, when you got to be uh, – I mean, you got to be your most mental tough mm -hmm. and uh, have, have the most mental toughness on the on the big play downs. They've had some uh, some some costly costly penalties last week. That was one of the things that really hurt Ford as well uh, as well. They had a couple of interceptions and, and things of that nature that hurt them in that game against Magnet Co. Cunningham looking to throw. Good job by Rocco Patrick. He makes the sack inside the 25. Yeah, great job by Rocco making that tackle. But a really good job. I mean, it, it wasn't just Rocco on that play. No. Marion Burton was able to get in there, force Cunningham outside. Uh, it, it looked like uh, Rafter was also giving pressure on that far side. Uh, great job all night tonight by the uh, Curly Wolf defensive line. That, that unit is a is probably the strength of this team I agree. that I've seen this year. They, they play extremely hard up front. If one of them's not making the tackle, they're forcing the running back, the quarterback, into somebody else's arm for them to make the big uh, tackle for loss. Third down and about 32 here. Cunningham drops back to pass, lets it go. Let's go. Prater, oh, almost come up with it. Uh, he jumped just a little bit too soon. He he did get up there and knock it down, though. Great job by the safety. 
Yeah, great effort by Jakari there. I thought he was going to get it on, on the tip. We'll bring up a fourth down, and Allen will be back to punt this one away. And I believe this is where you can put Gully back there to and Prater both to try to get a return in this situation. Gully's out there, but he, they've got him up there very shallow. High snap, it's over his head. Deep is back there again, that's gonna be Talon Smith. Rafter, they're all back there. Good job by Talon to get back up off the ground and go make the stop. Prescott to get the ball inside the 10. Yeah, on that particular play, it looked like Prescott was just willing to take the ball wherever it ended. <laughs> Nobody rushed the, the punter, uh, but a great job of uh, getting back there and, and getting them great field position. The ball was on the 24, I believe, and that's gonna, it's a loss all the way back to the five. So it was a loss of 19 yards. So Prescott will have it first and 10 on the four dice five yard line. Box now in it, tailback. Ball given to Box, trying to find some room in the middle. Almost got to the end zone to see if they, if they get stopped at the one. Good job there by Taquan to kind of dance his way inside. Yeah, man, a few guys missed, just couldn't quite get it in there. Makes it a second down and goal. Maybe try to give Taquan one more shot at trying to get in the end zone here. Ball given to Box. Oh, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Curly Wolves. Good job by Taquan. It was a good effort. He was hitting the backfield, but was able to keep his feet and drive into the end zone. Yeah, good strong run there. Well, people may look at the score now and, and see the, the lead at 16 to nothing. Uh, but this has been a hard, hard fought game. And just until the last few minutes has Prescott been able to uh, get that second score. We talked about that earlier, getting that a two score lead. Offsides on four dice. They'll move up a yard and a half. Kick is up, and it is good. So with 7.50 to go here in the fourth quarter, Prescott Curly Wolves now extend that lead to 17 to nothing. Thank you to Dalrymple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home, we care. Papard Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Birkin Walker, you can count on Birkin Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. State Farm Insurance, we're, help, we're here to help life go right. Call Lou Desette today. You know, that was one of the things we talked about uh, as we kind of went over into that fourth quarter was really the the conditioning. Uh, and you can see a little bit now as uh, four dice is, they've kind of been their backs against the wall, so to speak, and it, it's it's showing, a, it's showing it on the field. Yeah, they a lot of those guys have played a lot of snaps tonight. You know, yeah. Harden, Harden's played hard both ways tonight. Yes. Uh, defensive line, and then he's playing fullback on, on the offensive side. It, they didn't really get him in to run the ball until the end of the, the first half. And I think mm -hmm. that was kind of by by design on their part to kind of keep him fresher. Mm -hmm. um, but they've, they've had to use him more, and uh, uh, I think he's wearing down because um, he's gotten a little bit slower. Uh, but uh, Sledge is still going at it. <laughs> Sledge 
made a great run there out to, uh, caught it on the 22, and a very good tackle that time by number 44, Justin Culp. And, uh, you know, if he, he doesn't make that tackle, Sledge could, could still be going. Yeah, but going back to the, these four dice guys, they're playing very hard both sides of the ball. They played a lot of, a lot of snaps on defense, which mm -hmm. can wear you down when uh, you got, because uh, some of these guys are playing defensive line like Harden is. Right. Uh, you got offensive linemen going in at your legs, and then you coming back trying to run the football uh, on the next offensive possession. That gets pretty tough. And the same thing for the guys that are playing defensive backs having to recover, mm -hmm. having to cover the, our receivers we run a lot of deep routes, and so they're, mm -hmm. they're having to run a lot. First and 10 now for the Red Bugs. Cunningham looking out to the right has receiver number two and Talon Smith will make the stop. I believe that is Stroud on the reception for the Red Bugs, but not much of a gain there, if any. Yeah, another great tackle by Talon Smith. You know, the, uh, we sat up here between the two of us and talked. That, that's a luxury Pres Prescott has is the amount of athletes and guys that we can have that can that can play one side of the ball. Uh, just like we've talked about, we'd like to see K.J. Page getting some more uh, carries in the backfield, spell Genoa a little bit, have a little one-two punch. But uh, K.J. Is, is, uh, is such a solid piece of that uh, the center of your defense that you don't want to have to, to use him as a, a running back unless it's a situation where Genoa got a little shaken up, had to come out of the ball game. But uh, a great testament to what – Prescott coaches are able to do from that junior high level all the way up to this level here to really build some depth. As, I, as far as, as long as I can remember through my playing days, you, you played one side of the ball and that was right. it. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'm pretty sure my sophomore year never practiced defense. It was just strictly offense for me, and it was a lot of uh, the, that way for a lot of the guys on the team. And I'm sure it's continued to do that, uh, but these coaches do a great job of developing guys and uh, getting them really good at their craft uh, to, to perform here on a Friday night. Well, you know, Travion Dickens played uh, defense as a sophomore and a junior, and then his senior year he flipped over mm -hmm. and was an, a standout, you know, as a, as a running back. Well, the same way with Carson Poole. Exactly. Played safety, and when his number was called at quarterback, he didn't mm -hmm. touch the field on, on defense. Uh, Yates. Unless he was needed. Pierce Yates, same situation. Um I want to say Jacoby played both ways, right. even when he was playing quarterback. <laughs> but uh, he was an athlete. You didn't. Yeah. You wanted him on yeah, the field. You every him time. on the field. Period. <laughs> but uh, and there's there's rare guys that you that you do that with. Uh, it's you know it's just it's nice to have like a, you know, it's a Kalen Zachary. He he would play Kalen Zachary. He would play both ways. Uh, but you know they had the stamina to do mm -hmm. so. Cunningham. Looking to the right side. Oh, he's going to get a lot of pressure. Prater goes up. Enters. Oh, almost come, almost came down with that one. And But a good job of playing defense. That's, that's what you want to do as a safety. You wait for it. You go try to high point the ball. Uh, that's a that's a great job as, as your, your deep safety. Yeah, I've always liked the analogy of that, that middle of the field safety, that free safety, if you want to call him that. Being like your center fielder in baseball, mm -hmm. like you, you've got to say so in, in, in what what ball you're going to go catch. Uh, pretty much see ball, go get ball. Yes. Third and 11. Cunningham dropping back to pass. Looking for the receiver. Oh. Diggerson almost had a chance at that one. Tayshawn Smith was right there on sledge out of the backfield. Yeah, great coverage by your – by your linebacker on a speedy uh, running back in uh, good position by Dickerson to be on the uh, on the, the back side of that. Fourth down and about 11, 6.42 to go here in the game. A stop here by the Curly Wolf defense should allow your offense to get on the field and, and try to grind out the rest of this clock. Cunningham dropping back to pass. He's getting pressure there from Rafter. He gets away from it. Rocco Patrick <coughs> chases him out of bounds. And Prescott will take over on downs. Great job of Rafter to force him out of the, the pocket there. Great job by Rocco 
to force him out of bounds, but an even better job of slowing up and not bringing him to the ground out of bounds. <laughs> now, he's played both ways quite a bit yes. tonight, so he's he's getting his workout in for the week for sure. Yates has Harris in the backfield with him. Again, they're lining up in that tight bunch formation. Send Jalen Johnson in motion. We'll hand off to Johnson. Little jet sweep. Good block on this side by Gully. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know. That was a good block if you ask me. He did extend his arms a little bit there at the end, but he wasn't holding him, I don't believe at all. Yeah. You you were a receiver, as well as I was. I, I don't I didn't see that as a holding, but <laughs> I think the defender kind of coaxed him into that that call, right in front of the official. He kind of threw his arm back there, made it look a little bit like he was holding, but I think it was a good clean block. But that's going to set the Curly Wolves back here. Well, it was a gain of five, and then the a. 10-yard penalty from the spot. Brings up a first and we're going to make it 16 because they got it marked just on the Prescott side of the 50. The spread white out to the right. Gates is going to make a quick pass out to white. Trying to get something done. The ball's on the ground and We'll get out of bounds. I believe that was Gully that picked it back up. To be out of out of bounds at the 45, 46-yard line. So Prescott loses another four yards on the play. It's going to be a second down and 20. Three receivers to the left. Johnson down the bottom of your screen. Yates gonna step up in the pocket. And boy, he's just had no time tonight. He's dropped for a loss there back to the 40 yard line. And I think this is one of the best defensive line our offensive line has gone up against mm -hmm. besides probably our own right. uh, throughout the week in practice. Uh, this Red Bug defensive front's played very, very hard there's some big guys, too. They are big. Makes it a third down and about Emmett. <laughs> Gates gives the ball to Harris. Nothing doing over that left side. He does good to get back to the line of scrimmage. The offensive line again broke down. Set up for a punting situation here. And I'm sure the, the offense themselves are, are, are they're, they're upset with their own play tonight as far as their execution. Uh, the passing game has really struggled the exception of just a couple of big plays. Mm -hmm. Good snap. Johnson punts it away. High kick. Sledge is going to take it at the 21. Davis back. Good job on that stop. Sledge slid. I, I hate to see a guy slide like that. That can really hurt a, a leg badly. And there's a late flag, too, and I don't know what that was for. I didn't see what happened. It's our personal foul, but I didn't see a face mask on that. Huh. There was a personal foul face mask there. I'm not sure which. Everybody kind of came down awkward there. I think I saw him slip. <laughs> yeah. And, and it looked like. Cliff Davis had him by by the top of his shoulder pads, kind of like the play earlier that they mm -hmm. called the face mask on. So. 
They're going to get the ball on the 43-yard line. Prescott not able to close it out there on that last possession. You got 4.25 to go here in the game. Prescott leading 17 to nothing with the Red Bugs trying to get on the scoreboard tonight. Prescott's defense has played excellent. Cunningham with Sledge in the backfield. Excuse me, that's number five in the backfield. He's rolling everybody out. Looking for number nine, I believe that's Ellison who makes the catch. And I think that's the first reception and that counted because they had the penalty earlier. So that makes it a second down and three, maybe second two. Eight yard gain. Number five is Turner. Sophomore. Ball given to Turner. Gets around the first man there. He will be out and get the first down. That was number 62 for the Curly Wolves. Uh, Jacob Carlton. Not able to make the stop, but a gain of about four on the play for Turner. First and 10 now, Red Bugs at the 45 yard line of the Curly Wolves. Cunningham looking to throw. He's gonna go deep, Gleason's back there. And they're gonna throw a flag. And Gleason just didn't get turned around. I think that could be the only thing they could call pass interference on. Yep, it's just, he just not, did not get his head turned around. And I think just believe ran into him. That's one of those hard to call. I have a hard time calling that ball catchable. Yeah, that's true too. Your 15 yard penalty pass interference. But I will say this, one thing about Prescott tonight, they haven't had any of your unsportsmanlike calls. They haven't had, a, you know, your uh, they had the one face mask a moment ago, which we really had trouble finding it. But they've, they've done very good in cleaning up some of those sloppy penalties. And yeah, they haven't really had any procedure penalties right. tonight uh, before the snap penalties, which that, that, that shows how disciplined your team is. Mm -hmm. If you can come out and have them play clean with no procedure penalties or anything like that. You know, the first week against Bismarck, we saw some, some running into the <coughs> kickers and mm -hmm. some just unnecessary stuff after the whistle. Uh, they've really done a good job of cleaning that up. Didn't see much of that last week either. Uh, so it's, it's good, good to see that they've got that addressed. It, it's gotten through to the players, and, and they're playing a little bit smarter now. Usually we'll see more penalties at the first of the year. As the, they're getting into their, their routines, they're getting into the cadence of things. Second down and 20. Cunningham looking to the left side for Ellis and Raptor after him, can't get to him. Good job by Benton to come off his receiver and make a stop there. Uh, Got to gain about five yards, but a good job by him to, to make that stop. Yeah, Benton's gotten, uh, looks like he got stepped on a little bit, but in, in my mind, Richard, Richard's made a lot of growth since last week, last year. Um, he, he got in quite a bit last year. He, he's, he made some mistakes as, as a younger player, and he's learned from them. He, he's come out this year and has really impressed me with, with the way that he's, he's gotten better uh, from the, this previous season and the way he's played these first three weeks. Third down, 15 for the Red Bugs. Cunningham dropping back to throw. Talon Smith is there. He gets him right as he's getting ready to throw it, and he just gets it uh, gets it away back to the line of scrimmage anyway. That one was better than the last one when he just threw it out of bounds <laughs> about five yards behind him. Gonna bring a fourth down and 15. Gilly will come back in now on defense as a deep safety as well. Been, uh, Really impressed, you know, this week and, and last week both are 
our our guys having to play a, a full four quarter game. Yes. Uh, typically, we don't have to do this till the week after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, Incomplete pass. Prescott will take over at their own 35-yard line. But really impressed on how both offensively and, and defensively they played all four quarters. They, they you haven't seen a big drop off. You've seen you've seen the halftime adjustments uh, that so so many times you don't see teams execute what the coaches tell them to do at halftime. Mm -hmm. And you know in the first half of this game we couldn't run the football for anything. We come out in the second half we run it. Uh, 50 yards down the field, right. uh, four straight runs, punch it in for a touchdown. You know, last week uh, couldn't get any field position. Defense comes out, uh, or we, we got the ball at halftime. Mm -hmm. uh, offense is able to move the ball down the field. Big play, touchdown, we're back in the ball game. Uh, just really good to see how this team is, de is developing so far for these first three weeks and making those adjustments and uh, and getting things on the right on the right ship going forward to finish out a, a ball game. Got a few more chances to get some good words in for our sponsors. No Way Pupwood, authentic American logger. You hug them, we cut them. Gates will just take a knee, let the clock run. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. MyFarmers.Bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. PSC Spray Services. Pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. 48 seconds to go now in the game. It's second down in uh, about 12. Prescott let the clock go all the way down, and Yates will take a knee once again. And they'll have to snap it one. Let's see. Nope, they won't have to snap it again. So the Curly Wolves will... Come away with a victory tonight, 17 to nothing. It was a hard-fought ball game, but it's two weeks in a row uh, that, like you said a minute ago, it was four quarters of football. Even with the Bismarck game, the same thing. The, the team's having to play, and they're having to extend themselves, uh, stay focused for, you know, the full 48 minutes, and, and, and it's helping them. It'll, it'll help them going on into further into the season. Uh, lastly, we want to thank our, our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber, Bank of Delight, Gates Maintenance and UAHT. Uh, coming away from this game, Brandon, what can you can see has been the, the biggest pluses? Just really the the game plan that, that they initially came in, into the game with wasn't exactly working. They made those adjustments. A team that can make adjustments at halftime and execute those adjustments can go a long ways. We've, we've seen teams that can't really make that adjustment, can't, can't make the adjustment stick or the adjustments doesn't keep up with the ball game. Uh, but this team has shown that last week, this week, even first week against Bismarck. Um, so they're real determined to uh, to get this, uh, get things right uh, that uh, have not gone well in, in, in at the beginning of the game. They've played better in the second half each week, I feel like. And uh, it's a, a real testament to what these coaches are teaching them, a real testament to the guys of, of – their hard work and, and what they're willing to do to be successful each week. Pussy Curling Wolves come away with a 17 to nothing lead to, uh, win tonight. Uh, that puts them two and one on the season. Uh, they will be traveling to Hope next week, and uh, hopefully you'll come out and watch the Curly Wolves play the Hope Bobcats. Uh, Hope's having a, a, a much better season uh, this year, and I think it'll be a very good football game with two teams that. Uh, I always have had a rivalry, and uh, I'm not going to be here next week, but Brandon will be uh, bringing the, the game to you along with Andy. So if you are not able to make the trip to Hope tomorrow uh, next week, if you would please make sure you join us on Today For Jim Honey and Brandon Honey, we'll see you next week, and y'all take care, and God bless.